Sunday, January 9th. It is 6.30 in the morning and I am up early. Why, you may ask? Well, we're quite literally going on a field trip today. Today's voyage brings us to the small town of Iwamizawa, which is about 40 kilometers to the northeast of Sapporo, and is incidentally the first time I'll be leaving Sapporo since I've been living in Japan. I'm really excited for today's trip because being from the countryside myself, I've been a little bit curious to see what it's like outside of the city, and to see what the fields look like covered in a perfect layer of white snow. With the train ride done, it was time for me to get out and find Mr. Yao-san, who was the owner of the farm, and who'd give me a leftover. Alright, so I've made it to Iwamizama now. I just gotta look for a black car with the license plate number 888. And then I can hop on that and eventually make my way to a potato farm, which is kind of fun. そろには寒いでしょ。なんで今日は今日は風がないからね。うん。で、バルーンはね、僕も一度だけ乗ったことあるけど、寒くない。ああ、確かにあの、バーナーがあるから。うん。オッケー。この辺にしようか。うん。We made it to the farm. It's the farmhouse you see behind me. It's very nice on the inside. Um so I figured out what's going on here. Uh, so they need a lot of help with potatoes, more specifically the potatoes have started growing little germinations, like little roots that kind of grow out after some time. And um, because it was hot last summer, so before they ship them off, they need to make sure that, that they don't have any. <laughs> this is the operation. Now the point is to pick out all these little guys here off the potatoes so that when we sell them, they're not going to start germinating by themselves. But I think the biggest advantage with the kind of work that we're doing is that it kind of encouraged a lot of conversation, which let me practice my Japanese way more than I get the chance to do on a daily basis. Um, also, funny story, uh, whenever I got there, I didn't know exactly how many people would be there or what exactly to expect, but as I entered the garage, um, I seen my friend Hitesh from my Japanese grammar class there. Um, neither of us knew we were going to be there, and we kind of just ran into each other. This is the first time we'd met in person, uh, so it was a pleasant surprise to actually be able to meet someone who I'd been learning Japanese with all this time. Alright, so we just finished up work for the day. It was actually pretty fun. Um, it's the kind of work that doesn't require a lot of mental thought, so you can kind of just think about your own stuff while you're doing it. And everyone was so nice. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about it whenever I get uh, whenever I get home. I just got back from the farm, and I had a blast today. Not only did I have a good time, but I managed to actually snag a pretty big bag of potatoes out of it, which is pretty neat. But also, I managed to snag a bag of chips. Uh, the family was, was so nice. Um, they were really, really thankful that I showed up to help them. Apparently, they were, they've been in a pinch for a little while now, and they even treated me to lunch uh, with a homemade meal and stuff like that. It was delicious. I've never had a home-cooked meal in a Japanese home before, so that was a first. Whenever I, 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 I agreed to do this, I was under the impression that it was going to be completely volunteer work, too. I had nothing else to do, and my experience out of it was going to be the ability to speak Japanese all day. You know, that to me was more than enough as an exchange, but they actually paid me a little bit um, whenever I left, which is um, quite happy about. I wasn't expecting it, so whenever you do a day's worth of work, 
and, and not expecting to get paid than you do. Um, it's very nice. I'm very grateful to them to have opened their home to me. Um, and like I said, to have provided me with a lunch and given me an opportunity to spend time with, you know, like actual Japanese people outside of, outside of Sapporo. I'm going to head out. Thanks for coming to the farm with me today. Uh, and have yourselves a good week.